अगर वो कहता है कि अपने सगे भाई को जान से मार डालो जी मैं तो मार देता अगर वो कहता है अपनी माँ को जान से मार डालो मैं तो मार देता Imagine a man openly confessing to killing more than 25 people from your community and more simply upon the instructions of his superior with no qualms of who or what the targets represent in the grand scheme of things and to see the same man walk around the streets of your home like nothing happened the physical and mental trauma that would get triggered at the very sight of such a person and the sheer gall to have zero regrets on his face is something that i can never imagine my parents who grew up in jammu would often account about the several political and social changes that would take place in the state of jammu and kashmir in each decade coming to a gruesome point in the late 80s where there was absolutely no control of the separatist forces that staked their claim of an independent kashmir especially deeply motivated and influences by the forces across the border when shikara had presented a story initially marketed as the untold story of kashmiri pandits many were left in disarray after watching the film as it presented a romantic storyline with the backdrop of the genocide of the kashmiri pandits and many felt like it provided a sanitized version of the traumatic turn of events that was endured by the community vivek agnihotri through the kashmir files presents a film that chronicles several events that took place in the kashmir valley from 1989 from extremist groups causing mass hysteria and violence on the streets several executions of active members of society that were con- conducted and the categorical religious cleansing of the valley that still goes under the radar of mainstream media once considered to be heaven on earth kashmir had slowly transformed into becoming hell in every shape and form Agnihotri through this film creates a back and forth in his screenplay from the traumatic events in the Kashmir Valley from 1989 to 2016 shedding light on the experiences of our protagonist Krishna Pandit played by Darshan Kumar in Delhi as he studies in college and visits the valley for the first time since he was a toddler created and designed as friends of Pushkarnath Pandit reunite with one another in Kashmir and revisit the experiences they had while still tussling with Krishna a person coming to terms with his identity and what Kashmir represents to him in his life This film really overwhelmed me with varied emotions from anger to disgust to sheer discomfort. This movie is not meant for the faint-hearted and never came across in its narrative as forced with its messaging. The political leaning of Vivek Agnihotri is public knowledge, especially his annoyance with left-leaning thoughts, but his individual opinion on the current left never takes center stage in this film. The service to be provided is to shed light on the real and ghastly events that took place in our own country, the reparations of which are still elusive and most establishments seem to put a blind eye towards. Whenever we think of Kashmir in films, we think of beautiful landscapes and color. Usually the state was portrayed as an ideal backdrop for romance, but this is a different Kashmir in this film. Absolutely devoid of color, almost lifeless like a corpse that turns pale and blue. Uday Singh Mohite has done a splendid job in depicting the lifeless nature of a state that was once vibrant and jovial. mostly denoted through grays and blue highlighting the sense of normalcy that a community longs for this film is atmospheric in every way even though i wish that some of the moving shots of this film were smoother as the camera travels you often see key elements being out of focus but i guess that's the raw gorilla style of filmmaking that agnihotri was going for with this film What I was skeptical about when I saw the trailer of this movie was that I just wished that characters were grounded in their approach when they interact with one another. One of my biggest gripes with the Tashkent files was the loud pitch at which characters would interact with each other, almost screeching and shouting loudly while getting their point across and a blaring background score to go in pure overkill mode. Through this film and the sensitivity that the topic requires, Agnihotri has with great skill steered away from that pitch and provided a real eerie tone. to not only the way he captures the environment around him but how even the characters interact with each other i was waiting for the old chaps to start their shouting match the moment they congregated to discuss topics in the living room with their drinks but it accounts for organic and heart hitting conversations that also seem to integrate genuine moments of humor representative of how groups cope with trauma in order to simply persist and carry on i honestly cannot fault the performances of this film many of the members of the supporting cast standing out for me as genuine candidates who understood the assignment and came out with flying colors I absolutely loved Mithun as Brahma Dutt an IS officer who seems to be powerless in a political system that is marred with corruption and red tape He stays composed through most of the running minutes of the film only to burst in providing clarity to Krishna's relationship with the state of JNK an impressionable youth who hasn't even scratched the surface with what went down in the valley it genuinely accounts for a heartbreaking moment of an individual that just wants to be heard and acknowledged Pallavi Joshi is hauntingly brilliant in this film as the professor Radhika Menon mostly dismissive of the atrocities caused towards the Kashmiri pandits flippantly regarding them as upper caste groups that had a slight inconvenience while a character is an amalgamation of various individuals in real life of the current left she never came across as caricaturish or one tone to me 
the manipulative tactics utilized by the character in influencing Krishna account for moments that will generate disgust from you and that has a lot to do with the conviction of the actor i am very torn about anupam kher's performance as pushkar nath pandit in his interaction with his family especially his grandchildren and his friends on the growing concerns of the developments in the valley kher shines he portrays his anxiety and apprehension with great ease but as the years pass by and how the man has become a shell of what he was kher does go slightly dramatic in his portrayal of a man experiencing severe PTSD Anupam Kher however shines especially in a scene where he communicates to Krishna of the beauty of Kashmir and what and where he would like to be when he takes his last breath It's not entirely jarring but I found his performance to shine in certain moments most of the moments but falter in a few Agnihotri through his screenplay leaves no stone unturned surprisingly and I was very impressed from a craft standpoint that he did not assist most of the traumatic sequences with a melancholic background score he allows the viewer to sit with the trauma with an eerie silence as the valley only echoes the wailing of families and the sound of gunshots with inflammatory slogans the scene of kashmiri pandits in the back of a truck traveling in the middle of the night as a kashmiri song plays in the background and a girl struggles to relieve herself has to be one of the most bone chilling sequences i have seen in recent Yes. I do hope though that the film was edited a little better as most scenes end with a black screen and carry on to the next topic rather than having a cohesive structure that goes from point A to point B. The first half of the film presents events that you can find a lot of information on. Whosoever has done research about the events of the mass genocide can literally point out the characters and situations portrayed in the first half, leaving no scope for even a debate about certain events not taking place. When the film does take creative liberty, only one moment stood out for me as jarring. When Agnihotri tries to create a connection with the present left and a notorious terrorist with a hilarious framed photo, I thought that was a bit on the nose and steered away from the otherwise grounded and realistic approach by the creator. I think the film showcases Darshan Kumar in his career's best performance. I was surprised on the sheer conviction he showcased in this film. He is brilliant in most of the supporting roles that he has portrayed, but I was really taken aback by his heartbreaking portrayal of a man who is just trying to understand the polarizing world we live in today. I think he works as a perfect protagonist for a film like this because he represents everyone who has a sense of doubt in the world we live in today, a world of absolutes where statements immediately label you as a particular group. Darshan especially shines in his last act giving everything as he addresses the college clearly communicated on the misguided perception that people have of the state brilliantly stating that Kashmir ka sach itna sach hai ki hame jhooti lagta hai and concluding perfectly by saying aap tay kariye kise milna chahiye saza and who deserves justice The film is a brutal, honest and unapologetic take on what a community endured for no fault of theirs and I think denying the very existence of a historical event no matter what your political ideology with the assumption that it will add fuel to the fire of the polarizing world we live in today would be only representative of one's political ideology stopping themselves from even giving a story a chance. Someone rightly pointed out in the comment section of the trailer review of this movie that every story across the range of ideological spectrums need to be told. If we simply ridicule this venture by terming it as a pro-government vehicle, we would be doing a major disservice to the thousands of Kashmiri pundits who are still refugees in their own country. This movie is not meant for the faint-hearted, but taking the leap to understand and empathize with a community that never had a shoulder to lean on and were left to fend for themselves is a story that needs to be told and something that you should definitely witness in theaters.